dear friend uh, in the last lecture we observed the packing efficiency of metal crystals in sc that is simple cubic crystal second in the pcc that is body centered cubic crystal and the third one packing efficiency of metal crystals in fcc that is face centered cubic or cubic close pack or hexagonal close pack but as per the state board guidelines this topic 1.7.3 is due to the corona effect covid 19 effect is omitted from your uh, syllabus for the academic year 2020-21 so for this year only here this topic is omitted from your syllabus it is also easy to calculate the packing efficiency for the fcc as well as the ccc or scp just like the simple cubic and bcc so the problems are or whatever with the relations regarding this fcc or this one is always omitted from your syllabus so but for the uh, je neat exam we always aware about this one so some of the topic related to this one also we observe okay so now next one topic we are going to observe that is the in the tabular form how this is lengths radius and the space occupied by that constant particles in that different types of lattices so for that purpose look at these tables in which all these points are always gathered together so just like a summary here we can observe these tables so first of all we can observe this that is for the s length and particle parameters in cubic cell system so first that is unit cell simple cubic unit cell so for the simple cubic unit cell if we are observe look at this one for the simple cubic unit cell so already you know that the relation between the s length and the radius a is equal to 2r or we can write that is r is equal to a by 2 that is the relation between the s length and the radius so if you calculate this one that is 1 by 2 means 0.5 so we can write that is r is equal to 0.5000 a that is the s length volume of one particle we know that there is only one particle in the simple cubic so volume of that one particle we calculate out to be that is pi a cube upon 6 and so from this one 1 upon 6 is nothing but it is a point 5237 and we can that is put up the value of the pi 3.142 so this one gives also the relation that is a pi a point volume of one particle is a point 5237 a cube that means just we put up the value of the is like we get the volume of the one particle by multiplying 0.50 to 37 total volume occupied by the particles in unit cell it is as it is because we know that in simple cube there is only one particle so we get the same relation for the total volume also that is as for the one particle that is it is called as only one particle so we get the relation of this one now the second one that is a bcc for the body centered cubic lattice here if we observe in this case we know that the relation between the radius and the s length that is r is equal to root 3 a by 4 so and here also we can put up this value of root 3 and here we if we calculate this one we get the 0.4330 a r is equal to 0.4330 a so just we put up the value of s length we get the radius of that particular constant particle and the volume of one particle we know that the relation for the bcc that is root 3 pi a cube upon 16 so here again we put up the value of root 3 and the pi and we calculate it we get the relation that is simply for the bcc volume of the one particle is equal to 0.34 a cube so here again we put up the value of s length we get the volume of one particle so as here we observe the bcc type of crystal so in this bcc type here we 
always calculate the total volume occupied by the particles in that unit cell. So for the BCC we know that number of particles is equal to what? That is the number of two particles in BCC. So here we put up the value of the number of particles 2. So 2 upon 60 is nothing but it is the 8. So root 3 pi a cube upon 8. And so again we calculate this one and we get 0.68 a cube. And so here we put up the value of wavelength and we get the total volume occupied by the particles in that unit cell. Similar to the simple cubic and BCC, here also we can write the relation between the FCC and CCB. Actually this part is omitted for this year from your uh, textbook. So mm, in the problems relating to these relations are not art. That is the questions are not are not asked related to this FCC and CCB. But for our, uh, we can say that is a convenience or for the JNE purpose here we should remember this one. That is R is equal to root 2A by 4. We put up the values of root 2, we get the answer. R is equal to, that is the race of uh, constant particle or the atom in the FCC or CCP is 0.3535A. So we get the relation between radius and S drive. Similarly, the volume of the one particle that is pi a cube upon 12 root 2 and if we calculate this one again we get the relation 0.185 a cube. So as we know that in FCC and in CCP that is total number of particles we know that the number of particles in FCC and CCP that is here we already measure in a that is a we can say uh, in the starting uh, points that is FCC along with the corner the constant particle present at the center of the each face that means here the three from the each face and at the corner one so total four number of particles so here we can that is four upon twelve that is a one by three so we get the relation pi a cube upon three root two again we get the relation that is total volume occupied by the particles in FCC or CCP type of unit cell is 0.74 AQ. So this third point actually is omitted or deleted from your slabbers for this year. Similarly here we can show the relation the that is the coordination number as well as the packing efficiency. So for the simple cubic type of lattice the coordination number we know that that is a 6 that is the four pairs from the same layer and the one from the above layer and one from the below layer is touches to this one so total there are six pairs so that is the six coordination number in simple cubic lattice and the packing efficiency is 52.4 percent in bcc type again we know that that is the in the bcc type of crystal lattice the four in the layer below and one in the layer above that means here 4 in the layer in the same layer and below and 1 in the layer above. So total that is there are 8 spheres are uh, uh, touches to each other. And so here we can say the coordination number for this BCC is 8 and the backing efficiency is 68%. And similarly for the HCC or CCP or SCP there is a coordination number 12 already we discussed this one that is in this case there is a uh, 6 from the say, uh, own layer and the 3 from the above layer and 3 from the below layer so total there are 12 and so that is here we can say there is a 74 per se faces get occupied in the FCC, CCP or SCP so here we can say in this case there is a more closely tied spares are get arrived, that is they are more in close proximity, compact structure is obtained and so it occupies the 74% space. So in this way we can observe the relation between these uh, uh, radius is length, volume occupied by the constituent particles uh, in that or uh, packing efficiency in that particular type of lattices. Now here we are going to calculate how many number of particles and unit cells are present in that particular amount of that metallic crystal. That means suppose if you have provided the 
particular amount of the substance suppose its weight is given in gram of that metallic crystal so from the from that weight here it is uh, possible to calculate the how many number of particles and the unit cells are present in that metallic crystal so for that purpose here we find out the relation for the x gram of metallic crystal and the number of particles and unit cell so already we know that the equation of relation between the molar mass number of particles density and volume of unit cell so we know that the relation that is a rho which is nothing but density is equal to n m upon a cube na where n is the number of particles m is the molar mass a cube is the volume or we can say a is the s length and a cube is the volume and n a is the avogadro's number of particles so if we rearrange this equation we get the equation capital m that is molar mass is equal to rho a cube na upon small n and so in this way we can show rearrange this equation so by using this equation it is possible to show the relation between the amount of the substance and the number of particles and unit cell so here if we suppose the number of particles in s gram of metal we have to be calculate here so as we know that the relation that is suppose the m amount of substance that means its molar mass amount of substance we can uh, consider so for the molar mass m amount of substance we know that the number of particles present is nothing but is equal to the avogadro's number of particles that is na particles we know that whatever the substance is there if we take it in its molar mass amount so we get the number of particles in that every substance is nothing but the avogadro's number of particles so from this one we can calculate the how many number of particles should be present in x gram of metal so therefore x gram of metal contains is nothing but we just cross multiply this one we get this relation that is x into na upon m so that is number of particles present in x gram of metal so we can substitute the value of this molar mass in this equation from equation first so from this equation first we put up this value of this capital m molar mass in this equation and so the number of particles in x gram of metal is equal to x n a upon rho a cube n a upon n we just put up the value of molar mass from this equation first here and so here n a n a that is avogadro number of particles n a n a same so they are cancelled out and we get the relation this n is here divided in the denominator so it goes above in the numerator and we get x n upon rho a cube number of particles may be present in the x ray so if we put up the amount of that substance given and that is how many number of particles are present in that particular crystal that is a, we can say that is the number of uh, we can say that is the small n value in this equation that is we know that there is a n okay so if we provide the particular type of unit cell so in that particular unit type of unit cell how many number of particles we know that so we put up this n value divided by density and volume that is the s length it is given that is the s length q we get the volume and we get the answer for this one that is number of particles in x gram similarly here the number of unit cell in x gram of metal that means if you as we have provided the how many the amount of the substance so in that particular amount of substance how many number of unit cells are present so we know that the n particles are corresponds to one unit cell in that particular unit cell suppose you we say there are n particles then for this number of particles how many unit cells are there so for the n particle there is uh, corresponds to one unit cell so then for xn upon rho a cube particles corresponds to how much unit cell so here again we take the cross multiplication so xn upon rho a cube into 1 upon into that is upon n or we get into 1 upon n so n n is cancel out and from this one that is the number of unit cells in x gram of metal is equal to x upon rho a cube that means we put up the amount of substance density and the s length 
we get the answer that is the number of units is in x gram of metal and similarly also we can show by this relation that is number of unit cells in volume V of metal that means if you have provided the particular volume of that metal and in that volume of metal how many number of unit cells so simply we can calculate by putting the equation that is V upon A cube V is the volume of that substance given and A cube is the S length and so from this one we get the volume uh, number of unit cells in that particular volume of the unit cell so in this way by using these relations we can calculate the number of particles in x gram of metal number of unit cells in x gram of metal and the number of unit cells in that volume v of the metal now uh, we are going to solve some of the problems given in your textbook so look at the problem 1.2 in your textbook so first read carefully this problem and then we are going to solve this problem so look at the problem 1.2 a compound made of elements C and D crystallizes in FCC structure. We have provided here the FCC structure. The important whenever we read the problem, always remember that which type of crystal lattice is given. So it provided a lot of information to us. Atoms of C are present at the corners of the cube. Atoms are D are at the centers of the faces of the cube. What is the formula of the compound? We know that atoms of two types of uh, uh, that is C and D. The atoms of C are present at the corners of the cube. That means the corner in FCC at the corner contribution. We know that there are eight corners, eight into one by eight. That is equal to one only at the corner and at the centers. So we know that at the center, there, uh, that is at the center of the faces. So we know that for the cube there are total six faces and the constant particle at each face, there is a contribution is what? That is, it is exactly half. So there are one by two into six, that means three. And we can always easily calculate the formula of that compound. So what is the formula of the compound? Always remember that in your textbook the syllabus for the SCP, HCP, CCP or FCCL is omitted but it doesn't mean that such type of problem this type of problem is not uh, uh, here we can say deleted because this relation already we know that we observe the crystal lattice of FCC and the number of constant arrangement of the constant particles in FCC so this problem is related to the constant particles it is not related to the age length and the radius so the problems which are related to the age length or radius is not considered here we, for the uh, slabbers. But this type of problem is always included. So look at this one. As C atoms are present at the 8 corners, so their contribution at 8 corners is 1 by 8. So 8 into 1 by 8 is equal to only 1. So there is only one C atom in that FCC which is present at the corner. For the D atoms, we know that here it is provided that the D atoms are present at the centers of faces. So there total there are six faces and the contribution of the constant particle atom at each face is what? Half. So 1 by 2 into 6 is equal to 3. That means there is a 1 C atom and 3 D atom. So from this one we can write the formula of the compound is equal to C D 3. So that is the formula of that compound. Now look at this problem. If we read this problem, that is the here we get the idea either on which topic it is uh, depend. The unit cell of metallic silver is FCC. It is a FCC type of crystal. The radius is given, length is given, uh, and we have radius is given, and we have to calculate the age length. So already I am saying here that the, whenever we have provided. Uh, whenever uh, we have uh, given the such type of problem, so such type of problem is not asked for the state board only because this relation is omitted from your syllabus. Look at this one, we observe this table, look at we here cross it because this third point is not uh, in your uh, syllabus for this year. So that's why here we can say this problem may not be asked. But if 
uh, for the GE and NEET level, we should be always take care of that we have to be practice such problems also. Just we have to put up the value here. We should the, just look at this table. We have to be only learn this one. We, we does not go in deep how this come. Just we know the relation between radius and the is length for this type of crystal lattice also. Okay. So we can just put up this value in that equation. So for the state board, this problem is not as for uh, uh, your in your state board syllabus. So we does not consider this one here. Now look at the problem 1.4. Again, it is a simple one. A compound is formed by two elements A and B. The atoms of element B forms cubic closed pack structure. The atoms of A occupy one third of the tetrahedroids. What is the formula of the compound? Even though it is a uh, cubic closed pack structure, but it is this problem is not related to the radius and its length. It is the chemical formula of the compound. So it is always included in this labus for this year also because here it is we have to be know the arrangement of the constant particles we already learned in the first topic this one so for this one uh, compound is always shows that the atoms of uh, element B forms a cubic close pack structure and the atoms of A occupy the one third of the tetrahedroids. that means atom A are present in the tetrahedroids and B are at the lattice points. So remember this one. So we have to be show the relation of this A related to the B because B is the main constant particles and A are just like a infrodis which occupy the tetrahedroid. So the atoms of element B from uh, form the cubic closed pack structure and the number of tetrahedroids we know that the relation the number of particles a number of particles and the number of voids so number of tetrahedroids generate is exactly double twice the number of that B atoms that is we know that the tetrahedroids is equal to 2n we observe that relation so the number of tetrahedroids is equal to exactly double the B that is a 2B and the atoms A occupy one third of these tetrahedroids that means these atoms A are not occupy all the tetrahedroids it is only one third of these tetrahedroids that means 2B into one third. So number of A atoms is equal to that is 2B into one third and now the ratio of A and B atom. So A is equal to that is a 2 by 3 B as to 1 B that is B atom is at the uh, cubic close pack arrangement and so from this one we get the relation that is 2 as 2 by 3 as to 1 or we can say it is 2 as to 3. So from this one we can write that formula of the compound A2B3. So that is the chemical formula of the compound. Okay. And similarly now we